Hi, I'm Kat, and this tutorial is how to do a frosted sea glass effect. This is just a regular clear glass container that I did the bluish greenish frosted effect on. And then this one I did mercury glass on the inside of it, and then covered the outside with the same frosted effect. And this is just a regular decorative bottle that I also did with the same effect. Has some little texture on the outside. Now these are not waterproof. If you get them wet, the texture will just like peel right off. I actually got this one wet and it kind of like peeled off the edge right there. You can see a little bit and it'll just keep going if you want to. Or if you don't like it, you can just peel the whole thing off when you're done if you can find a loose edge. Um, there are some ways that you can seal it in, but I didn't want to seal these because I'm going to have open flames in them and obviously you don't want anything just going up in flames. So that's probably not a good idea, but I'm sure if you look hard enough you can find something that will seal it that isn't flammable. But I really like the way they turned out and um, I collect a lot of sea glass, so they look really, really good together and I hope you enjoy it. For this you're going to need your glass container. Krylon Looking Glass Mirror-like Spray Paint, White Glue, a paintbrush you don't care about, food coloring, a container to mix in with a little bit of water in it, a spoon, a solution of 50% vinegar and 50% water, and something to cover your workspace. For this, I'm just cutting open a brown paper bag. You'll definitely want to do this next part outdoors. Take your Krylon Looking Glass Mirror-like Spray Paint and shake it for about a minute. Once you've shaken it up, start spraying it inside your glass container. Try and hold it as far away as possible without getting it on the outside of the glass. You'll see you have all those little bits in there that are kind of dripping around. Try and coat it as much as possible. And then take a little bit of your solution and dip your fingers in then flick it into the glass. You can also use a spray bottle, but that's just more work. You can see what's happening there. And then keep working with the liquid that's kind of floating around inside your glass. Flick a little bit more in there. Now you don't necessarily have to use vinegar and water. I've been told it works better than just water by some people, but I've never seen any proof of that. Keep rotating it. Get any little drips floating around in there to coat the surface. You can see how shiny it's turning out and that effect inside where you've gotten the splattered water and vinegar. And then once you're done with that, leave it outside for about an hour to dry in the sun because if you take it inside, the fumes will fill up your entire house. Once your mercury glass is dried completely, this is where the fun part starts. In your empty mixing container, you are going to add two parts water. So in this case, that's two of my tablespoons of the water. And roughly three parts white glue. Next, I'm going to go for a little bit of a turquoise finish, so I'm going to do four drops of blue and two drops of green food coloring. Then mix that together. Your mixture should look like this. And next you're going to paint it as evenly as possible over the entire outside of your jar.
Now if you want it to be a little bit darker, you can add another layer of the paint over as you go. But the darker you make it, the more you're going to be able to see any of your brush strokes. Then I'll just let that sit to dry.